man. I've really been looking forward to this. This is Halo Infinite's uh, flight, is what they call it. It's a technical test, really. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't say it's fair to call this a beta, even. Or an alpha. The developers themselves have uh, referred to it as a technical test as well, even though for some reason, oddly enough, inside the game itself, it kind of refers to itself as a beta. Regardless, uh, basically, uh, you can test Halo Infinite right now if uh, you were enrolled in the flight program. But there's going to be more flights. It's a little janky here and there, but man, this feels incredible. Academy so far, you can see a little bit of juddering here with the with the gun. But Academy so far has been the bulk of the bugs and glitches. Anyway, I'm just over the moon about these weapons, man. This sidekick feels incredible. All the guns really feel amazing. You're going to see a lot of visual uh, artifacting <laughs> glitches. Like here, you can see some flickering. Um, again, this is a technical test. They're allowing people to stream it and make videos, but really this is um, a, definitely a work in progress. But I'm really excited by what I'm seeing here. Really liking this. But yeah, you can't get into this technical test unless you were already invited. But uh, I recommend becoming a Halo Insider so you can get ahead on the next technical test. But I'm really enjoying this. Anyway, what's up, guys? Welcome. This is a live stream, obviously. Ah. <sighs> So the technical test, uh, you're basically fighting against bots with humans. So you're fighting alongside humans against bots, and they also have this, the Academy, where you can test out all kinds of different weapons in all kinds of different scenarios. And man, is this a lot of fun. I'm really liking this. This is tight. All right, you know, I'm going to start this one over. But yeah, just to recap, this uh, technical test has a couple of things you can do. The main thing is that you can play against bots. And you can play against bots with human beings. And it actually works pretty well. They said that over the weekend they're going to be uh, rolling out higher tiers of bots. Right now they've got, I think, the most basic bots to recruit. They talked about four tiers in the uh, uh, Halo Waypoint livestream, but... They also have this, which is the Academy. It's basically a place where you can practice the various guns. And it's pretty tight. There's going to be a lot more to it at launch. Right now, it's just challenges. But the guns feel really great. Let's hop into a match. They said that at the end of the weekend, they might enable um, Slayer, which would be really cool. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if they're going to be able to do that, but that would be awesome if they were. Anyway, what's up, guys? Welcome! What's up, Ghost? Are we live here? Oh, yeah. yeah there we go. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm really surprised. 343. Um, they're doing a great job here, so far. Very promising. I really like this. Really like it a lot. Again, this is the Series X. Runs well. Very well. The 120 hertz mode is kind of, at least as far as I can tell, it may, it may be something with my television, but it's a little bugged. It's really jerky. Stuttery. I don't even think it's a performance issue. I think it's like a some sort of a handshake bug or something. Slayer. This is one of the new maps called Live Fire, and it's pretty cool. Like I said, you're only fighting against bots in this technical test. They might turn on Human Slayer at the end of the weekend, but we're fighting against bots, which are a first for Halo. We haven't had bots before. And, yeah, you're fighting alongside people. Uh, basically, this is one big test. They even have the Battle Pass enabled. Obviously, you can't spend real money on the Battle Pass. It's, uh... They, they, they gave you a bunch of credits. So, basically, you get the Battle Pass for free. And they want you to do everything possible this weekend to test it out. So, I'm really looking forward to maxing out the Battle Pass. But, man, this feels good. And I gotta say, these bots... 
aren't bad. Keep in mind, this is the recruit level for bots. This is the easiest bots in the game. But hopefully by the end of the weekend, they said they were going to work their way up to rolling out the Spartan bots, which, oh yeah, which are the most powerful. It's been a long time since I've been into Halo, but Halo Combat Evolved, <laughs> I remember I had the, uh, I had the trial for that, and, uh, for the longest time, I just played Blood Gulch. I, I had the trial on PC, and that was the only map you could play for free. Blood Gulch. Played the, played the hell out of it. Loved it! Halo 2, obviously. Halo 3. I really liked Reach, but that's kind of where I fell off. Didn't really like Halo 4 for some reason. I don't know why. Just didn't feel right to me. Uh, ever since 343 took over, for, this is just my personal experience. Halo 5 was a, a good game. I felt it was a lot better than Halo 4 for me personally. But, anyway, I'm really excited about Halo Infinite. I've been excited about all of the, uh, the developer streams that they've done. How very surgical. Obviously we had the... What, what was his name? Clark? Greg? I think it was Greg. We had the Greg memes. But, despite all that, I was really excited. I'm so happy about the gunplay. It's really nice to be back. I've always... Is, does he have the Reach skin? I'm gonna check out the Battle Pass right after this. No, no, he doesn't, he doesn't. Kinda looked like he did. Uh, I've always been a fan of the Halo model. Uh, this classic Arena Slayer, you know? Everybody starts off with the same guns. The, the bots are bouncing grenades, it's great. Anybody, anyway, everybody starts off with the same guns. I love that. I love that. It's not really conducive to our extremely over-monetized uh, game climate. Because, like, Call of Duty, those those uh, those blueprints, oh my god. That brings in some money for Activision. You know, you just know it does. But everybody starting off on the same uh, same footing is something I've always been a huge fan of. S7 sniper, available. Uh, this is the Series X. Running really well. I have a, an Xbox original, I thought about testing it out, but I don't know if my flight um, <laughs> is bound to the Series X or not. This is also on PC right now. Uh, I think I selected both PC and Series X, but they just selected me for uh, Series X. Really impressed with the performance though. Crispy! I don't know if it's native 4K, I'm assuming Digital Foundry is probably already working on a video, but it, it kind of feels like it's native 4K. And it's a rock solid 60fps. Again, my 120 hertz was bugged. I, I'd really like to check that out, though. I would love to see this at 4K 120. It seems like a really, uh... Jesus. Okay, I, <laughs> I gotta start focusing. These are bots, for God's sake! Anyway, um... It seems like a really well-optimized engine. Apparently, you can run this at max settings, 4K, 60 hertz, uh, on a 2080 Ti, which isn't too bad. 2080 Ti is getting a little long in the tooth. Did you guys see that the 3080 Ti's are going as high as um, $1,700 MSRP? Salt Baron? Is that a roundabout Dune reference? Maybe Mad Max. I don't know. Anyway, I'm sorry I haven't had a chance to look at the chat room yet. Crap. Anyway. What's up, Alexander? Welcome, man. Welcome, Obama. Welcome, Nathan. Welcome, Jay Skittles. What else we got? Aaron. Welcome, Aaron Sweeney. Welcome, Jose. Drastic Wolf. Gavin. Yeah, I think somebody's looking for you in uh, Saint Denis, Gavin. <laughs> anyway, what's up, guys? 60 FPS with a 3090, I should hope so. Of course, this is a technical test, so... You know. It's probably not going to be as well optimized, or obviously it won't be as well optimized as it will be on launch. But, uh, in one of the developer videos, someone was running this on a 2080, and everything was at max settings. You know what? Actually, before I hop back in, I'm going to see if I can... I already purchased the Battle Pass with the credits they gave me 
Let's see what we got. Something that's slightly different than other battle passes with Halo Infinite is that every single tier has free stuff you can get. Instead of, you know, every two tiers or something, which is how most battle passes are done. Freeze? What's going on here? Again! Some of the developers don't even call this a beta. So, you know, it's really just, it's for their testing purposes. This isn't, oh, it brought us right back in. I thought I left. I like that purple. That's pretty cool. This is, it's, it's really slick, this presentation. All right, I'm gonna check out the battle pass right after this match. I didn't realize it was gonna put me right back in. Okay, let's see if we can find some fun weapons this time around. I really do like this sidekick. It's not- Oh, Heat Wave! This is one of the new guns. Um, the sidekick is nothing like the original. <laughs> it's basically a deagle. It's not like that. It's not like the Combat Evolved pistol. But, it's really nice. Really excellent. Jesus Christ. Died to a bot. Oh my god. At least there are two of them. Hey! Picked up my gun! That gun's the skewer. Apparently it's really fun against the vehicles. There aren't vehicles in... Oh shit, they got the heat wave too. Uh, there aren't vehicles in the technical tests. But there will be in the next one, I think. I don't know if they're gonna do it. Actually, you know what? Big team battle, I don't think that's gonna be at launch, so... That probably won't be in a technical test before launch. Um, you're, you're snapped out of your zoom whenever you take a hit or any sort of damage. I don't remember if it was that way in Halo 5, but it's that way now. Additionally... I love that the bots are bouncing grenades! That's great! That's really good stuff. Jesus! Okay. I've accounted for two of our four bot deaths. Uh, that's 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 gonna have to change. All right. Back in my day, boy. Halo Three. I was pretty good. I was pretty okay. I played Halo Three on the 360 every night, and I was all right. Damn it. <laughs> is the heat wave back? Yes. Okay. So this is an alt fire, which I think is a first for Halo. I don't- I, I think the developer said it was a first. Uh, it's a pretty fun gun. It looks cool. That's for sure. Hey, look, someone else is killed by bots, too. Great. Not bad! They're really proud of the bots. Uh, I haven't played with the Spartan bots, but the developers said that they got a pro team of Halo players. Uh, that they send development builds along to, and they have a pro team tested out. Anyway, uh, pro team... They had some occasional minor, uh, challenges presented to them with the Spartan bots, apparently. Hmm. I wonder if that hologram pops up when it's about to, uh, when it's about to spawn. What the fuck? Did he just melee me in the back? Yeah, he did! Wow! Did they up the- are we still playing against recruits, or was that day one? Okay, you know what, uh, what are the, <laughs> the control- okay. I remember B used to be melee. Or maybe it- well, that was just my remapping. I don't know, it's been so long since I've played. You can see there's this little force field-like effect whenever you hit an enemy, and that's telling you where you hit them. It's it's a telegraph, and it's a really good one. Instantly. Don't even have to really think about it. You can tell where you hit them. Okay. Oh, it's color-coded. Great. Instead of having a little ticker, they just got a color-coded to let you know when the uh, respawn's coming in. But, yeah, that's, uh, that's what that little force field effect is. It's telling you where your shots are landing. You can really see that in Academy, which is the training mode for Halo Infinite. They're also putting a lot of work into the training mode, which I'm really impressed by. I don't know if you can play... I don't think you can play with the bots offline. Don't quote me on that. In fact, if one of you guys know, 
uh, please tell me in the chat room. But yeah, I don't think you can play with the bots offline. I know 2042, if you want to play with bots, you have to be online. Battlefield 20, 2042. And the reason being is that the bots are fairly advanced. <laughs> and they run server side. I don't know if that's an excuse. But um, I've been to some different developers. And uh, usually, I'm not going to name any names, but I ask about, you know, always offline or always online. And even when they have bots, why is it always online? Oh, I've been excited about trying this gun. And the answer that comes back to me is that uh, it, they can't run it offline. It has to be server side because that's how advanced the bots are. I don't know if that's the case with Halo Infinite, but that's with other games. That's the answer. It's so interesting to me how different Halo is as a shooter. Like Battlefield, Call of Duty. There's a pretty, there's a pretty decent overlap between those. Even Rainbow Six. But this classic arena gameplay. Oh man, that is. It's just something you don't see anymore. Like, being taken... I think aiming down the sights doesn't give you additional accuracy. I'm pretty sure on that. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, if, you're, if you take any damage, you're immediately snapped out of ADS. Which is fascinating! You don't see that! I can't think of another game aside from, I don't know, maybe some sort of a sniper rifle or some really uh, specific gun. I can't think of another game that pulls you out of ADS whenever you take damage. That's pretty different. And having everybody start on even ground is pretty different. I like it. I like it a lot. You don't see that with Call of Duty. I like Call of Duty, but uh, I'm not a crazy, <laughs> not a crazy big fan of um, blueprints. It just feels like monetization, which it is. But uh, yeah, you're not gonna see that with Halo infinite well maybe maybe it, the, if they do implement something like blueprints it's, it's probably going to be the same that they did with vehicles where once you get in the warthog then it's your warthog so if you find a gun you pick it up then maybe i guess you could use a blueprint all right let's uh let's get out of here this is the uh end of match screen scoreboard Hey, we dealt the most damage somehow. Oh my god! I had the most accuracy? I guess the game can't be too accurate. <laughs> Alright, hopefully it's not going to put us right back into a match because I want to look at the battle pass though. Hey, cool. We unlocked some more things. New visor. Rare armor. Looks like a Gundam. Look at that. Looks like the G1 Gundam. How do I know when I get an invite? Uh, so check your Halo Waypoint. You'll get a message in Halo Waypoint. You'll also get an email um, if you were invited to the to the technical test. I think if you were invited, you should already have your invitation. If you don't have an invitation, I don't think you were invited. I never liked this one. It looks like a BMX bike. You know what? It's cool looking. It's just not as cool as like this. Oh man. It almost looks like Recon. Oh, Recon! You guys remember Arby and the Chief? Machinimas? Remember that? Oh, goodness. They also have prosthetics that you can equip, which is pretty cool. Um, okay, where do I do this? Let's check out our... There we go. Body. Do they have Halo Reach thick Spartans? I don't know. It doesn't change too much. Obviously, they gotta keep the hitboxes the same. I can't rotate my Spartan, which is very frustrating. Okay, so here are the prosthetics, which is, it's actually really specific. It's really cool. Check this out. They have partial prosthetics, full prosthetics. I don't know if this is working right now, because if I just go to hand... Oh, look, I still have the prosthetic hand. It just can't take it away. Weird. Alright, let's try the right arm. Yeah, there we go. And I can't remove it. 
Interesting. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I guess you can make your own uh, cat from Halo Reach. Oh, I didn't know you could uh, customize your AI in the technical test. How do I test these things? You can randomize it too. That's really cool. Alright, so I guess you can't preview the voices yet. But these are basically your in-game announcers, so you can choose what you want. I guess it's like your own little Cortana. Hopefully it doesn't have the rampancy or whatever. Oh, that's awesome! Okay, uh, I'm gonna go with the pyramid because it looks kind of cool. Um, I don't know what these body types are. I think it's male, female, and then somewhere in between. At least that's what two looks like. Alright. Something else I have, which I'm guessing is another glitch, unless I'm just doing it wrong. I can't seem to be able to apply any weapon skins or coatings. See, it's applied there, but once I go in, the, in a match, it disappears. We'll try it again. This is a really gorgeous weapon model. It's a real... Oh, yeah. There there it is. It, it deselected it. <laughs> Time to file a bug report. <laughs> okay, well... Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. I really like the sidekick, man. This is a great pistol. It's fundamentally very different from the Combat Evolved pistol, but it's still great. And this looks good. It's a damn shame I can't actually get these coatings to stick. <laughs> that almost looks like a Destiny rifle. Ironic. Okay, uh, let's head over to the uh, uh, Battle Pass and we'll hop into another match. It's not loading in right now because this is a technical test, but there's usually cool little... You know what? Let's test how next-gen it loads. And maybe that'll clear out whatever issues I was having. But Killzone looked terrible. What? Killzone? Which Killzone? Killzone 2 looked amazing. It still looks good. However many years later. <laughs> 25 years later. But uh, considering it was a PlayStation 3 game, Killzone 2. My god. Now Killzone 3 and Shadowfall. Somehow those were de a definite step down in my opinion, visually speaking. Shadowfall especially. On the PlayStation 4, in many respects, I think it looked worse than Killzone 2 on the PlayStation 3. Um, largely due to the art style. But... I would love another Killzone 2. Or Killzone 1. Spiritual successor, something like that, I don't know. Some, some gritty, fun, awesome PlayStation shooter would be nice. Hopefully, PlayStation is probably going to have a multiplayer shooter at some point. I'm hoping it's not something like Destruction All-Stars with guns. <laughs> God forbid. Ugh. All right, shop's not loading. Well, let's see if it remembered my uh, weapon bench customizations. No, it didn't. Ah. Equip. Hey, it's stuck. Look, look. Because... Before, it wasn't showing the coding there, but now it is. Great! Alright. Alright. Let's not push our luck. Let's just customize this real quick. Check this door for a minute, and then we'll get back into a match. I don't think... Yeah, I didn't have anything for this. Uh, you can see all the coatings that are available for all the guns from the armor hall. And then if you want to purchase it... <laughs> so, there's a button that'll take you to the store. There we go! Okay. Well, let's customize our Spartan and then go in. So they give you a bunch of credits in the, in the flight to purchase a battle pass for free. And this is the battle pass. As you can see, every single tier has a premium and a free option. So no matter what, you're always going to get something every single tier, even if you didn't buy it. These armor coatings are insane. Look at that. That looks exactly like an 80s Gundam. Oh, that's pretty cool. 
And then you got the recon. <laughs> uh, the spiritual successor. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and be a, 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 a basic Spartan. And I'm going to purchase the same Tahuna Sands that every other Spartan playing has right now. But it fixed our hands. We no longer have the prosthetic. I'm going to give us a prosthetic uh, left arm. And there we go. Let's see what kind of customizations we've got. Can't seem to zoom in. Oh my god. I didn't realize we already had a bunch of defaults to use. So that's the one we just bought. Which I'm not going to use because now I know that I have so many other choices. I'm going to use the crazy, silly Gundam. Uh... Coating. Keep wanting to call it a skin. I'm wondering if I can apply this to certain armor pieces. Exclusively. Individually. Whatever. Let's see. Oh, that's nice. You can uh, very quickly toggle between what you have equipped and what you're currently looking at. That's nice. Oh, that purple is awesome. Doesn't look like you can apply it specifically to certain armor pieces. I don't think we have anything else unlocked, so we're probably just going to move in. You can unequip shoulder pads. You don't have to have shoulder pads if you don't want any, which is kind of interesting. That's kind of cool. Let's have it for our right shoulder and leave our left prosthetic arm unshielded. Hell of a lot of customization, though, which is much appreciated. It's well done. Slick looking, too. Okay. Let's get back in. Let's double check our weapons. Great. Fingers crossed that our weapon coatings stick. But yeah, uh, this is running to Monday, I think. Sunday or Monday. And at the very end of the test, the developers tease that they may possibly uh, activate multiplayer where you can play not just with people because you can play with people right now you can play with uh, other humans but against humans they might activate full slayer fingers crossed for that that'd be really cool but yeah keep in mind you guys are going to see a lot of glitches this is a technical test <laughs> the developers themselves they didn't call it a beta for some reason it's referred to as a beta inside of the game but it's not not really uh i'm thinking i might need to restart let's, let's hop into an academy see if that fixes things for us academy is actually pretty cool um you know overwatch has like a well, I guess a lot of <laughs> shooters have firing ranges. I don't know if Call of Duty has a firing range. I know Call of Duty Mobile does. But it's, this game has a firing range, kind of like that of The Division, Battlefield, um, Overwatch. And it's supposed to be pretty in-depth. We don't have the full academy available to us. I'm going to have to restart. But we do have the challenges available to us. Basically, you have a bunch of blue team Spartans running around. <laughs> and you're scored based on how accurate you are, uh, how fast you are, how many of them you kill, and where you're shooting them. Loads quick. I'm going to see if multiplayer works first before we go to Academy. <clears throat> Great. I think it is working. However, I'm going to bet that it uh, took our weapon coatings off, which is a disappointment. Also, I can't seem to be able to adjust my, uh, Spartan clan tag or emblem or whatever. I don't think that's a thing. In the settings, you've got... Go ahead and turn motion blur off. You got graphics quality options. I can't seem to tell a difference between them, but I'm playing on the Series X. I'm not exactly sure what CAS 
sharp. I've never used, <laughs> or I've never knowingly played a game that had contrast adaptive sharpening. I haven't messed around with that yet. Everything looks great at default. Oh, man. I think we're now, I don't know what time it is, but I think we're now uh, in the recommended play times. Some people are misunderstanding think that you can only play the flight at certain times. You can play the flight whenever you want to until it ends. But the developers outline specific times where they want as many people as possible to be playing at the same time. For server stress, for being able to find people easily, for a whole bunch of different reasons. And I think that might be occurring right now. I think it might have broken the game. But while that's loading... If you are invited, you'll want to go ahead and download an app on the Series 1, whatever you have, Xbox Insider Hub. That is going to allow you to access the Halo Waypoint invitation and thusly download the Halo Infinite flight. But... Fingers crossed that it's working again. Anyone can't, <laughs> anyone can't play this. You had to be in the Halo Insider program. I recommend getting in the Halo Insider program now, though, because they're going to have a bigger flight than this one not too far in the future. So if you get in now, you're going to be fairly likely to be chosen. Oh, no. I don't think this is going to load. I get it. It doesn't seem like you're more or less likely to get into either one. If you can't get into multiplayer, usually you can't get into academy during the technical test. So I don't think I don't think either one's gonna. Oh oh. Let's see if we can get in. Hmm. Thank you, Apex. Apex says, I think the servers are down. I can't get in either. Damn. What timing? Let me check uh, the developer's Twitter. He's been updating. Everybody on the situation. Okay. Uh, yeah, sketch. He's the community director. Okay, he, he he hasn't said anything, so... I don't think there's, like, a scheduled downtime that's happening. I think it's just overloaded. So it could start working at any time, I guess. Just keep trying. I don't even think that I need to restart. Hey, look at that! These images weren't loading before. That's cool. The store is loading faster now. Maybe they're doing something server side, rolling out. <laughs> Flipping the stability switch. Isn't it wonderful? All they have to do to make the servers more stable is just flip a switch. It's great. That's why I never understand, like, uh,. Like yearly Call of Duties, why don't they just flip the map switch and give us all the maps that were in all the previous Call of Duties? It's it's just flipping a switch. Funnily enough, Battlefield or Dice seems to have flipped the switch in Battlefield. Battlefield Portal. That was unexpected. Really cool though. Kind of reminds me of Halo Forge, mixed with Arma's um, situations editor. Are you Dutch? <laughs> if you have faith, son, then yes. We need to get these servers fed and warm. Arthur, the camp, the servers have no food to eat. I need you to take your bow, get on your horse, and get us some sustenance, son. Please. For goodness sake, 
The flight feels garbage. What are you, what are you talking about garbage? Like the 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 gunplay. The gunplay feels incredible. If you're talking about technical issues, then you know that's expected. That's why they're doing this. Uh, this really isn't beta demo. You know, beta equals demo, which is what. Ever since gaming companies have started killing the demo, <laughs> they've given us betas instead, which are just timed demos. This isn't that. This isn't even a demo, really. This is a uh, technical test. 100% just a technical test. This is really for the developer's benefit, truly. They need a whole lot of people testing a whole lot of things. So if you are in the flight, if you encounter anything big, uh... Don't assume it's already been reported. Report it. You know, give that feedback. The developers really need that stuff to give us a good launch. I, lo I love the gunplay. 30 FPS. Current gen is the Series S and Series X, but are you saying it's like playing at 30 FPS on the Xbox One? I've got a base Xbox One. I've got a launch Xbox One, actually. I was thinking about testing it out, but I didn't know if it was tied to my specific Xbox or not. But the developers show some footage of it playing on a launch Xbox One. I don't think it was even an S. It was just a One. It looked great. I think it was a 1080p. I don't know if it was playing at 30 FPS or 60 FPS. I think it was 60. I'm pretty sure they're targeting 60 everywhere. Maybe not campaign for the, for the base, but I think it's 60 everywhere. So... It's, that can't be that can't be normal yo Jordan Johnson my man I appreciate that that super chat my friend was most kind Arthur you can learn a thing or two put something in the camp donation box please Jesus embarrassing me in front of the whole camp Jordan Johnson, you are too kind, sir. It is men like you that allow the West to remain free and for us outlaws a paradise. Damn, I'm so disappointed that the servers <laughs> shit the bed. Ah. <sighs> Benedict Cumberpatch. <laughs> My, I don't have any accent. Benedict Cumber, well, I have an American accent. Benedict Cumberpatch has a lovely, beautiful, his accent is like calligraphy. Meanwhile, hamburger hot dog stand over here sounds like Benedict Cumberpatch. It's nice of you to say, man, but I'm not buying it. All right. No reason to keep wasting time on that. Let's let's have some shopping therapy while we wait for the servers to fix themselves. What are oh XP boosts? So you can buy boosts. Something that I don't know <laughs> is uh, the monetization. I don't know that much about it. I know about the battle pass, but I don't know about credits. You can't buy anything with real money right now in the technical test. They just give you money. I'm guessing credits can be bought with real money. And that would mean you can buy XP boosts with real money? I'm not cra- I'm never crazy about that. Uh... What does this do exactly? Okay, swap. Oh, challenge swap, that's right. This is actually really cool. Except if you can buy it with real money. I don't know. I mean, it's cheap. I, I don't know if... Okay. We don't know the monetization. They haven't really outlined it. They've outlined the battle pass. Um, I don't know if any of these prices are final. They aren't. They aren't final. So I don't... The rate at which you earn credits isn't final either. So right now this seems cheap to me. But that could change. This is a cool idea. Except if it's locked behind a paywall. I don't know. I'm really hesitant about that. Anyway, basically what that does is if you have a challenge you don't 
like, if you have a challenge you don't care about. For instance, winning any matches. You see that at the bottom? Wheelin', dealin', poultry mealin'. I don't win. I'm not a winner. I hate winning. I suck at it. I come from a long line of losers, and that's not changing anytime soon. So, I'm going to go over here, and I am going to uh, kill this. I'm going to swap this challenge. So you can re you can replace it with a new one. Which means you don't have to skip a beat. Uh, you don't have to have any of these sitting here that you can't complete. It's not too rare. Ga different games have that, but... Nevertheless, you know, it's, it's, that's nice. It's a nice feature. They got daily challenges, weekly challenges. And then uh, a reward from completing, for completing all the weekly challenges. You don't need the battle pass for that. I don't think the battle pass adds anything here. And then the battle pass, as you can see, every single tier has two items. Except this tier. Tier 3 has one item. I'm guessing that item is free. Because the developers said that everything's free. Every tier has a free item. Every tier has something that's free. There's no tiers that are only paid. I appreciate that. Something else I appreciate is the fact that battle passes are not FOMO. So they're, <clears throat> they're going to have a battle pass catalog. Let's say you played this game a year after launch and battle pass one happens to have something cool or a bunch of cool stuff you like. You can go buy pa uh, battle pass one. You can buy any battle pass. There's no fear of missing out. Which also means... Actually, that's really fucking cool. I play Call of Duty Mobile. I know. It's not cool to be a mobile gamer, but... Damn it, it's a good shooter. It's monetized to hell. It's... I think Tencent is the, the publisher. And my god. That game, it's like a, walking into a casino. There's flashing lights all over the place. <laughs> it's worse than that Pokemon episode with the Porygons. Or is it Raichu? I think it was Porygon. Yeah, it's Porygon. That's why they didn't really... They kind of took Porygon out behind the shed and shot him. <laughs> because of all the kids that had seizures in Japan. Anyway. Call of Duty Mobile has a terrible battle pass. <laughs> kind of like normal Call of Duty. Where a lot of stuff is locked, uh, like you got like sometimes three tiers that are paid only. So you'll get a free item every f four tiers or something. That's different in Infinite. I'm going to restart this. The servers are having some issues, by the way. So that's why we're not able to get into a match. Anyway, there's also the problem of the FOMO. Let's say I haven't played Call of Duty Mobile in a couple weeks. I look at the battle pass. Oh, shit. There's five days left on the battle pass, and I think that skin at rank 38 looks really cool. There's no way I'm going to grind out. No way am I playing Call of Duty Mobile 10 hours a day for the next five days to get that skin. I don't know when it's coming back. It's probably going to be $10 for that skin alone on the skin store once it's out of the battle pass. Doesn't work that way in Halo Infinite. I'm not trying to pat Halo Infinite on the back. Because honestly, <laughs> listen, right now they look like the good guys because they're just not being, you know, predators. I mean, Activision's a couple steps away from Chris Hansen knocking on their door. <laughs> they're preying on children. They are, that's for sure. But monetization's out of control, so. As soon as you see a company that's doing something... It's doing the bare minimum. You know, you gotta, gotta give them a little pat on the back. Like Disney. I am all for female-led action films. Mad Max was kind of a female-led action film. You know, uh, Atomic Blonde was cool. But Black Widow. Disney. Disney... Pff, the Great Pretender. I don't know how I got on this rant. Anyway. Disney's patting themselves on the back. Oh, look at us. We... 15 years later, made a, finally made a Black Widow solo movie. Congratulations, us. We're to, we have, we've planned out 200 social media posts in advance congratulating ourselves about this. Meanwhile, they stiffed Scarlett Johansson uh, on, the, on the bill. They refused to pay her what they said they were going to pay her. They ghost her, and they're simultaneously congratulating themselves on what great people they are. 
There's good people working at Disney, but Disney's not good. Damn, servers are still down. All right, let's di let's dive a little deeper in our Spartan customization. So so far, the whole customization. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. I don't know how it looks on stream, but that red is beautiful. I'm playing this at 10 bit. Anyway, they don't have the full customization suite enabled, and I can't seem to figure out how to put this armor coating on anything but my chest. I can only seem to apply it to my chest. Hmm. They got a lot of nice options here, though. Quality of life options. Really nice. Like a lot. I don't think they have any armor kits yet in this technical test, but something that people have been kind of upset about is the fact that, let's say the samurai armor kit that they've been showing in the trailers that looks really cool. Well, that's... You can't really mix and match all of the parts, or maybe even any of the parts. They've got different samurai parts you can use, but you can't, like, for instance, use the samurai chest piece with, uh, let's say, a recon helmet or arm or something because of clipping issues. I am fine with that. In fact, I, I'm glad about that. But I guess why not people let... <laughs> <laughs> Why not let people make their own mistake? If they want the clipping, let them have the clipping. So far, they're not going to let you have the clipping. I don't know if they're going to change their minds about that eventually. Okay, so we bought a helmet. I think this is the whole shop. I don't think we, we have anything else that we can look at. Yeah, HCS is not active. We already bought the Glass Hound bundle. I don't think I'm going to buy the Maltese. You know what? Let's buy the Maltese. I just realized it's got a DMR skin. You can buy it as a bundle, or can you buy any of these singular? I don't think you can. not No, wait. No. No, you can't. you got to buy the bundle. That might change in the future, but... Right now, it's, it's all or nothing. Okay. Well... What do we get in the battle pass? These have already been deposited. We don't need to go and claim them manually, which is nice. Uh, hey, it remembered. Man, it looks so silly with us just having the armor coating on our chest. That looks that looks really stupid, especially when I've got like a Fisher Price uh, color scheme going on. I wish there was a way we could uh, test these different AI models. So, these are like your own little Cortanas. They're supposed to have different personalities, different voices. And... I can kind of hear... It's just a slightly different beep. But they're supposed to have different voices and everything. Let's see if they have different descriptions. They have different descriptions. So, it's not a total placeholder, but I guess we're going to have to get into a match to actually figure out what it sounds like. Hmm. Xbox One base only uh, gives you 30 FPS. Damn, I thought they were targeting 60 FPS on all platforms. That's really disappointing. Anyway, you can't play with vehicles in this, in this technical test, but you can look at them, which is awesome. Uh, until now, the only way we could get a really good look at these. Wait, can we not inspect these? Hold on. Oh, God. Tell me I can zoom, please. Well, I can rotate. But can I get a really good look? I want to get in the weeds. No, I don't think we can. Oh, that's so that's so disappointing. Well, luckily for you guys, I can just zoom in myself. I'm uh, playing this on a Series X. I'm streaming at 1440p 60 FPS. It should look as good as possible. But yeah, since I'm streaming at 1440p, but playing at 4K, I can zoom in all I want. 
All right. I guess this is the this is the closest this is closest we're getting. But this is the new Scorpion. They've migrated away from the Halo Five look. It looks great. I'm such a fan of them moving away from like the Forerunner aesthetic. Halo Combat Evolved. Maybe Halo Three for me it was like the pinnacle of Halo art design. Loved it. Halo Four, Halo Five. It went too far into the. It, Kind of look like Warframe. Warframe's great for Warframe, but I just love this really utilitarian USNC look. It's good to have it back. Man, these look nice. So all these are going to be able to uh, customize fairly extensively. <laughs> Not necessarily Forza, but... Really looking forward to seeing these in Big Team Battle. All right. I don't think that, uh, I don't think that we can customize the, oh, wait, maybe it's just, damn, yeah, okay, that sucks. I don't know if you're going to be able to customize, uh, the different modules individually. I'm pretty sure you can. I thought I read that somewhere, but... It looks like in the current technical test that is broken. You can't, you can't with certain coatings get uh, the application over all pieces of armor. And it looks like it's actually just that one. Hold on, it's possible. As you can see, uh, these have different little colors on the little fins. That designates what colors go where. So is that intentional? Wait, is it? Oh my god, it is. No way. Yeah, that is the same. It looks like a baby blue, but is that a cream? Doesn't matter. You know what? Okay. It looked close enough to my original uh, coating that I was using that I thought it was just like overlaying my coating over the helmet and arms and legs. It's not. This is what it looks like. Wow. Oh, that's weird. We got the prosthetic armor rocking, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's see if the servers are working again. In a multiplayer. I would go to Academy, but it really doesn't seem to matter. If one's not working, both aren't working. Terrible luck! Alright, I'm going to restart the Xbox, see if that makes a difference. I can't get in the game. Well, most people can't get in the game. It depends where you are. I don't know if it, I don't know how this is working exactly. I think they've got different servers for different regions. But um <laughs> right now they're just they're offline. I checked out Sketch. He's the community director on Halo Infinite, but he hasn't he hasn't said anything about this. Let me check Halo support. Halo support says no. They haven't said anything about this. Some of you guys in the chat said that you weren't able to get in right now either, so I don't I don't think it's me. Unless I had to rest Well, that's something that I've got to do some paperwork on, son of a bitch. Okay, well, maybe it was me. And maybe whoever in the chat said that they had the same problem, maybe they had the same problem that I did, which is I had to restart the console. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm 90% sure this is working now. Oh, God. Well, that's embarrassing. I restarted the game multiple times. I didn't... <laughs> yeah, it is working. We got, yeah. What?! We were so close! Keep the faith, son. We're not in Kansas anymore. 
But if we have faith in these servers, we have been through worse. Master Chief Collection. It was a dark time for all of us Halo fans. Are we no better than the beasts in the fields? Have we no patience? Damn it. Uh, we weren't getting that far before, so something changed. Let's see if we can get into the academy. Man, if I don't get into academy, mom's gonna kill me. It says it's loading the map. I didn't see that before either. We were playing earlier. So something stopped working along the way. I don't think it's just me, but I don't see uh, Sketch or Halo Supports anything about it. <laughs> it's annoying how awful this game is. What? The gunplay's fantastic. It's just, the technical issues, which is exactly why they're having the flight in the first place. That's the only thing that I've found wrong with it. It's great. Uh, is the battle pass and cosmetics in the shop only for infinite or are they the same ones? No, the, whatever you see in the battle pass in the shop, that's just for infinite. None of it's from the Master Chief collection or uh, Halo 5 or anything like that. Damn. You know what? If restarting the Xbox... Fixed it halfway. Maybe. I'm putting my idiot cap on here. <laughs> but maybe two restarts equals a fully working build. Okay. All right. <laughs> what do I have to lose? Yeah, I'm playing this on uh, Xbox Series X. I've tried the 120 hertz 4K mode. Couldn't get it to work. Um, I don't know if it was my television. I don't think it was. Works fine on PlayStation 5 and other games on the Series X. But uh, I'm playing on the Xbox Series X. 4K, 60 hertz, runs beautifully. Occasionally, I'll see the weapon jerking, but that's, that's the engine. That's the animations. That's not the performance. The performance is great. 120 hertz performance, I can't comment on because that seems to be broken right now. But overall, runs great for a technical test. <laughs> Except, you know, I need the server. When I have the server, it's running well. If I, if I don't got no server, I don't got no game. I'm going to check out my challenges in the meantime. I think, I think it's going to work. Yes! Okay, if, if you guys aren't getting in any matches, just restart your Xbox over and over and over again. Great! Oh my god. Back in a match. Let's do this. I'm going to try the free-to-play multiplayer to try it out. Yeah, that's right. Oh my god. All right. I'm not a fanboy, okay? Listen, last time I was... Match in progress. Interesting. Hello. I'll take it. Give me the scraps. I'll eat whatever I can get. Watch my back. Oh my god, guys, the skins are working. Woo! Oh, that is fun. I'm so excited about the skins working. But I'm really excited about Halo Infinite. Ooh, I'm really looking forward to this. I've been looking forward to it ever since its reveal, even through all the Craig stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Even through all the memes, I kept the faith. But I haven't I haven't been a Halo fan since Halo uh, Reach, really. I did not care for Halo 4. I liked Halo 5, but it didn't it didn't bring me back. I just went into hibernation. Wait when you have a Halo that's worth playing. That was a lame attempt at it. You know, wake me when you need me thing. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah, Halo's free to play. Halo Infinite, that is. Wow. That is crazy. That is insane. The campaign is paid. Uh, 
I think it's like 60 bucks. I, I don't know. If, I don't know who's buying it. Everyone's gonna use Game Pass, I'm sure. All right, let's find some new guns. What we've got here? Carbine. Yeah, Series X. Runs great. Really great. It's really tight. Jesus Christ. I'll take the UNSC any day. This is a new map. Uh, I don't... Actually, there's a map from Halo Reach that someone data mined. I don't know if it's gonna be in the game. But it looks like there's gonna be a Halo Reach map, uh... Reimagining shit, I wasn't focusing at all. That was... That was pure luck, I almost... You bastard! I almost died to a bot. Humiliating. Alright, time for focus. Haven't even used my shields. There we go. Yeah, man, this feels great. Really feels great. I think there's a distinct possibility. I'm gonna sound like a crazy conspirator right now, but uh, I actually think that there's a fair amount of overlap between what people enjoy with Overwatch's gameplay and Halo. Overwatch is a hero shooter, but Overwatch uh, also has some of the classic arena shooter uh, feels when it comes to certain certain guns. Certain guns, obviously. Nevertheless, it's not more casual than Call of Duty and Battlefield. That's not what I'm saying, but it's really, really different from Call of Duty and Battlefield. And there aren't many games. Oh my God, there aren't many games uh, filling that void currently. So for this game to be free to play, uh, I don't know. I feel like Halo could be big again. It's weird. It's like I'm back in <laughs> 2010. When did Reach come out? But I am, I am rusty as shit. Thank God for these test flights. I think this is the first gun that has an alt fire in Halo. I think uh, that's what one of the developers said. That's not supposed to happen. I guess he stole Wonder Woman's gun. Anyway, this is the heat wave. It's pretty cool. Damn! They're really proud of the bots. I'm looking forward to the end of the weekend. They're supposed to be rolling out the Spartan bots, which they're really proud of. Hey, look at that. Two of us have the weird Gundam skin. Anyway, Spartan is currently the highest tier of bots that they have. And the bots are trained to mimic human movements, mimic human strategies. So, they're actually listening for footsteps. <laughs> I don't know exactly. They say they don't cheat. I don't know how that works, but they don't cheat. The bots are gonna be listening for footsteps just like humans would somehow. Uh, line of sight. They're using strategy. I, I think they can even rocket jump. They're using strategies that human players use, like for instance, grenade bouncing, even these bots, which I think are recruit. Maybe they're the second tier, but they're even at this stage, using the grenade bouncing, which I find kind of impressive. I think they said the recruits are like bronze tier, and they got silver, gold, and then uh, Spartan being the platinum tier. But they've got a pro team of Halo players, and I think the developers are using a lot of the data from uh, the pro team's gameplay to create uh, certain elements of like this, this Spartan difficulty. Does this Halo have split screen and multiplayer? I think it does. I remember them talking about split screen in the, the GameStop, GameStop, GameSpot video that they did like two days ago. Slayer. But uh, yeah, could one of you guys confirm that this game is running at 30 FPS on the base Xbox One? Some of you people were saying that, is that just for the technical test? Because I, I could have sworn this game was targeting 60 across everything.
This is really slick, though. I'm loving this. Damn it. Jesus Christ. Kill from the grave? Damn it! Red team takes the lead. Oh, it sucked. <clears throat> Red, blue team takes the lead. Ah, damn it, I can't do it. Sometimes I can do it. The fact that we're tied with the bots right now is... is we, we, we don't deserve this win. Okay, let's have that as our turnaround point. So far, I think the pistol's my favorite gun. This is not the Combat Evolved pistol. Hopefully they're gonna have that as like a map pickup. This is the... Sidewinder, which is... Actually, it's not the Sidewinder, what is it? The, the side guy? Sidekick. That's right. One shot, so many dead enemies. Great sidearm, though. So it is 30 on the 1 and the S. I'm guessing the 1X is 60. I mean, if they could have got if they could have gotten this running on 60, they would have. But I guess it's just not possible. Enemies on me. You hate the Halo Infinite narrator? I, I, it sounds like the same guy that's always narrated, though. I love that guy. I'd tell you what narrator I'd never liked. Destiny. Destiny, f what are they called? Crucible, that's right. Damn it! Never cared for the Crucible narrator. Alright, for some reason I've got burst fire in my AR. How do I switch between fire modes? Let's see. I think this is flashlight. All right, that's not working. Active camo available. Am I in single fire now? <coughs> Shit. Let me change fire modes. Uh, damn it! I'll just check. Okay. Is this only burst? I could have sworn this was fully automatic. Maybe it's not. Weird. Hey, there we go. Oh, I know what it is. It's my controller. That shit, man. I thought it was. Damn it. Skewer inbound. So, I got an Elite controller, Xbox Elite controller, and it's not great. It's already breaking. Son of a bitch. That is so disappointing. I've heard of problems with these things, but you, are, you never think it's going to happen to you. I haven't had stick drift yet on any controller, so I'm lucky in that regard. But, um, these triggers. Okay, hold on. It's working now. But I really gotta, I gotta slam the trigger, otherwise it doesn't fully detect the, the depression. <laughs> I fully detect the depression. Oh shit! Damn, these guys are really aggressive. Don't, no, don't, don't you bounce that grenade at me, you bastard! Where'd he go? Thank you. Saving my bacon from a bot. They've gotten 11 kills. This is ridiculous. Okay, here we go. God damn. Enemy there. Multiplayer, oh, like human versus human multiplayer. Maybe at the end of the weekend, but right now it's it's bots. They said it was a maybe, so I wouldn't count on it. They seem to have their hands full with a lot of other issues that they're working on fixing right now. Here's something that's kind of interesting. I don't know how many guys play Halo. I've been out of Halo for many years now. But when you're shot, uh, it jerks you out of ADS. I'm pretty sure that most, if not all, of the guns, your accuracy is, the, accuracy is the same hip firing as it is ADS, which is... I fucking love it. I love that. So if you're aiming down sights, if you're looking through your scope, 
You're going to be jerked out as soon as you take any damage whatsoever, which is cool. Okay. It's time to use everything at our disposal. There's this nice shield that I haven't been taking advantage of, and it's actually really interesting how this shield works. You've got various uh, uh, panels here that can be opened up by your fire. Oh, damn, I thought there was a little bit of friendly fire. I thought it decayed at a different rate as, uh, as opposed to the enemy's fire, but I, I was mistaken about that, my bad. Anyway, it's kind of like that one Twisted Metal 4 map where you could destroy certain panels and fall through <laughs> in Team Deathmatch. Love that map. But, uh, God, this trigger is really pissing me off. I don't know if the Elite Controller 2 is better than this, but don't, <laughs> don't buy the original Elite Controller. I hate this thing. I liked it before it started breaking, but... This not this was not worth. What was this? $150? This isn't worth it at all. Uh the trigger is It's I'm I'm holding it down and I'm really gripping this thing, and it's thinking that I'm I'm giving it a tap. When I hold it down, give it a firm hold like that, it thinks I did this. Really annoying. I've heard the Elite Controller 2 isn't any better, so. Let's see how our battle pass is doing. Ah, we got a new visor. Great. Let's see if we can customize that before we hop into another match. And let's change our armor. Looks a little silly. It's a very pleasing school bus, uh, yellow. That's the one I want. That's in the battle pass, though. I love how simple it is. Uh, at a glance, it gives you the information you need. You can toggle equipped. You can see where you get that level 16 in the battle pass. It's great. And then you've got all these different options. Factory reset. You can optimize, which I don't know if <laughs> I don't know how that works with uh, your armor because that doesn't affect gameplay. I think highest quality item is going to be the rarity. You can randomize, you can hide your UI for screenshots, it's great. You got, you can favor certain parts, we'll love it. Wait, didn't we purchase a helmet? Are we currently using it? No, no we're not. Attachments! Awesome! So, we had an option to purchase this helmet, or this helmet. I didn't realize that that was an attachment, so... Why does that have a lock on it? I don't know. Regardless, by purchasing the special one, I think we got both? Yeah, we did. Because I don't th Obviously, if you don't own the helmet that the attachment attaches to, then you're going to have to buy the helmet, so... Nevertheless, that's really cool. <laughs> that's, that's really neat. I guess if they were really scummy, they could have had it where everything's... Uh, unique. If you have a helmet with an attachment, it's a helmet with an attachment. Sorry, if you decide you're sick of the attachment, you gotta go buy a duplicate of that helmet without the attachment. If Activision uh, brought on Bungie with Halo. I look like a uh, Spartan on the construction crew. <sighs> it's a good look. As a longtime Halo fan, someone who grew up on Halo, this is to say the least disappointing. Even Halo 5 didn't dis. You mean the most disappointing? Cheese. Cheese, man, I got a question for you. What don't you like? I swear I'm going to watch the chat room more. I just. I'm taken. I'm a little taken with this. Anyway, cheese. And anybody else that has that is kind of disappointed from Halo Infinite. Um, just on the flight, not the campaign. Because I don't know anything about the campaign. I haven't played it. I've just seen Craig. Craig didn't look too promising, <laughs> to be honest. I enjoy Craig. I enjoy the memes. Uh, I like the art that they're going for. The fidelity of the art in the very first reveal that we got, like, last year or whatever... 
that was questionable, obviously, the fidelity was. But the art style of not photorealism, but not Overwatch, but something in between, it, it's working for me. Even if you look at games like The Last of Us Part Two, visually speaking, it looks incredible, but it's not necessarily going for photorealism. It's going for the... what the mind kind of remembers is photorealism, like, uh... You know, how, how they lay out the vegetation, obviously they can't have a million billion blades of grass in the field. So they, you know, they approximate. Well, that, you know, kind of, they, it's smoke and mirrors, trickery. They're doing a lot of that with Halo Infinite's visual style, and I think it looks great. It's slick. Okay, controller, please stop breaking, I hate you. Damn it! What the fuck is... You know what? Maybe it's not even the controller. Yo, are any of you guys... Oh, shit. Are any of you guys experiencing this in the Halo Infinite technical test? Like, where sometimes if you're holding that down the trigger, it doesn't recognize that you're holding down the trigger? I've had other problems with this Elite controller, so I'm assuming it's my controller, but maybe it's not. Okay. Enough of that. Let's fight. Get back out there, little doggy. Fight. Damn, that's cool. Bastard came up behind me. These bots are doing good. Can't wait to see what big team battle looks like in, in Infinite. Me too. Me too. Can't believe they're coming back. Oh shit. Oh shit. Damn it! What's the difference between this and five? <laughs> Way too many things than for than what I can list off the top of my head. Um, they're they're definitely bringing it. So here's what they've done: they've brought it back to basics, so they can evolve it in a more natural way. Personally, I was a really big Halo fan in the Halo Three days, Halo Two, Halo Combat Evolved. Halo Reach, I, I really liked Reach, but that was the end of it for me. Because Halo 4, didn't like it. Didn't click with me. I didn't really care for the campaign all that much. Didn't really like the gameplay. I didn't like some of the things they added in Reach either. Like the, what was it, armor lock? They got something different this time around. I'm gonna see if I can find it. They've got, uh, abilities. Anyway, it just seems like a more natural evolution for, uh, Halo. What you would have assumed it was going to evolve into. Which is... great. For me. In my opinion. Some people apparently aren't liking it. Where, where'd you get your code? Halo Waypoint. Alright, if you guys want to play... If you got a PC, if you got an Xbox, if you want to play Halo Infinite, go to Halo Waypoint, uh, sign up as a Halo Insider. And when they do another technical test, you may be selected. The next technical test is going to be bigger than this one. It's going to be against human beings instead of bots. And... It's too late to get in this one. Unfortunately. Did they put that up? Oh, hell yeah, the bots put this up. Look at this. This is such a cool shield. I remember the bubble shield in Halo 3. This is so much more fun, what they've made here. Is there a way to spin around in Halo? Like, can I hold back on this stick and press another button and then just instantly spin around? I would love that. That'd be, that'd be great. You know what? Maybe I wouldn't love that because everyone would have that ability. And I'm, I'm rusty. Really rusty. In Halo 5, it's rare a Slayer map has grass or dirt. Yeah, that's true. It's... A lot of maps in Halo 5 have, uh... Poor runner architecture. Not crazy about that. Let's see how well the active camo works on these bots. Active camo inbound. Oh, 
ammo available. Oh yeah, that's right. They got something called like smart AR or smart view. I don't remember what it's called. So if you're aiming down the sights like this, I don't think you can be knocked out. But if you're looking down a scope, like with the BR, then take any damage, you're knocked out of that. Yes! Yes! Alright, let's use active camo. Boom! And grab the shield wall. I love the shield wall. I like fighting it too. I don't just enjoy using it myself. This thing's great. Alright. Camo's gone. That's too bad. Didn't even get a chance to test it out. Assassinations are gone. I guess that's, uh, that's worth pointing out. Finally! I like this gun. This gun's great! This gun's good stuff! No! Kill from the grave! Da! Ah! Damn it! It's too bad. Man, I really like that new gun. It's the new DMR. I don't know what it's called. It's fantastic stuff, though. It's gun crack. Power items incoming. Oh, the commando. That's right. Everything I like about the sidekick, uh, it's it's in the commando. It's just beefed up. God, this thing's great. It's really... Fuck. If you're not used to it, which I'm currently not, it's really disorienting when you're aiming down the sights and uh, you get knocked out of it. It's, it's understandable. <laughs> but... Uh, I haven't played Halo in so long. I don't even remember if that was a part of Halo 5. Disorienting, though. Oh, yeah, the bots even use things like... They use the shield more often, but they also use active camo. When you got approved, did you get a download link? So, if you're on Xbox... And if you are if you are expecting a code, like if you if you got an email saying that you are in this this flight, then all you need to do because it's your Halo Waypoint account connected to your Xbox account, uh, go to the App Store on your Xbox and download Xbox Insider Hub. Once you're in there, all you need to do is go down to previews. And then, in the app, obviously you've already joined it, but in the app you'll need to join this. And then, you'll download it from here. You may need to restart it a whole bunch of times. That's what I had to do, but the servers may be better now than they were yes uh, yesterday. Let's see if we got anything new. What challenges do we have? There's no flags, so let's swap this challenge out using one of our swap tokens. Do we have any swap tokens? I don't think I do. Let's see. It's not saying if I have any in my inventory. I guess I did swap it because it's gone. All right, melee attack. I can't. I don't know why. We've already won every single match, so I don't know why we haven't gotten that challenge yet. Melee attack from the back and Bulldog, which I don't think is in the map. Nevertheless, I don't think any of these are working. Still, let's go after some melees and let's use our abilities. Real quick, I'm going to show off the Academy. This thing's great. And I'm gonna show it off with the pistol. Let's do, uh, the third challenge. So the academy's gonna be a lot bigger than this. I'm talking like I'm a, like I'm the developer at E3. I, I, look, I like Infinite. 
I'm really liking what I'm uh, what I'm playing so far. Eliminate anyway, I think the academy is a cool idea. Basically, this is like a souped up. You know the division uh, firing range, battlefields firing range. Well, this thing. Thirty seconds remaining. This is just the challenges, but it's gonna have lore. It's gonna have some story stuff. I'm lagging here. I don't know why. This is the first time I've seen frame drops in the flight. Anyway, here you're timed off of your accuracy, where you're hitting them, how quickly you're killing them. I think maybe even. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna speculate. Five, four, three, two, <laughs> oh, shit, shit. One. Damn. Exceptional work, Spartan. Love this gun. Love it. Ha Halo Combat Evolved, the pistol is always my favorite. Worthy successor. Still, I'd love the Combat Evolved pistol as a pickup. That'd be great. Hey, Bulldog. There it is. Let's give this thing a shot. I, I don't think this is in uh, multiplayer yet, or at least the map that we have currently. That might change. What? Kick me out! All right, what else do we have? What else do we have? We have the needler. Um, that's in multiplayer. That's in multiplayer. That's in multiplayer. I have not seen that. Is it the same rocket launcher as always, or did they like? Is this like the, the new version of the rocket launcher? Spanker. I don't remember that. People keep spamming on social media that you can get in without having gotten the email. I don't I don't think so. Um I haven't seen anybody saying that on a Reddit, so I think that might be trolls. Give me the rocket launcher! I want to see if you can do a rocket jump. Hmm. Academy's not working. I may need to restart the Xbox. Hey. It's showing the emblem. Interesting. Let's see if I can... It says this is where you... Uh, modify your uh, profile, but I don't see where I can modify my profile. I don't know if this is per object motion blur. The thing is, it's become it's become such a I don't know a mantra. Turn off chromatic aberration. Turn off film grain. Turn off motion blur. There's shades of gray there. Not all motion blur is bad. Slayer. Per object per object motion blur is good. Screen space motion blur, you know that's bad. <laughs> But per object, that can add a, you know, it, it can add something to the image. For richness. It's all in the implementation. Rack up the most kills. Don't you victory. take my VRs, you bastards! Here. Oh, oh shit! Oh. Gee, ah! They're not bad! These are some of the best bots I've played. They're not cheating, okay? So, you can't compare these bots to cheating bots. Bots that can do absolutely anything and everything to win. And, you know, bots that use things that humans can't. Oh, fuck yeah, Bulldog. I haven't seen this in multiplayer yet. That is so cool! I'm having such fun. I'm like a grandmother with dementia. Hey, Granny, you doing good today? Oh, I'm having such fun oh, with my Halo Infinite. I found the Bulldog. Blast the blue bastards to bits. Shit. Are these guys spawning anyway? Alright, I gotta go for some melee kills. Uh, we're gonna check if the challenges are working in the in the flight. And I need a melee kill and a melee kill from the back. I have not been able to get at one of these guys' backs. That's something though. These bots are great and they don't feel like they're cheating. At the same time, uh, they're a little better and a little worse than human players. Because human players, 
um, they make some stupid mistakes now and then. These guys are playing like average human players that are always on point. Fuck! Did he me he meleeed me like that? He's quick. They're consistent. They're too consistent. That's what I was that's the word I was trying to look for. They're very very consistent. Can't even imagine what the Spartans are going to be like. That's the highest difficulty of these uh, bots. Bots are such an interesting thing in 2021 because uh, they're not met. Bots aren't here for the poor saps that don't have solid internet. I could have said that kinder. Look, I got bad internet too, so. That was realistic. He was standing there like he was AFK. Very clever, 343. Wait a second. What am I doing with this? Let's get the commando. I love the commando. Where's the... Oh, the commando isn't spawning there. <laughs> I had a panic attack when I found out you could play this. Look, it's... This is gonna sound really stupid, but... I was actually kinda... I was a little shaky when I first booted this up. I was really, really excited. Um... When I... When The Force Awakens was coming out, opening day, I was at the movie theater. I was at, I was shaking. Not like tumbler shaking, but I, I was a little shaky. I was I had a lot of adrenaline running through me. I hadn't seen a Star Wars in movie theaters since episode three. I was really excited. Fuck. Did he stick me with the... No, he had a needler. Overshield, inbound. Oh shit. Oh shit. There he is. Is there a single game right now where people are unified like, yeah, it's a good game. It feels like every single game uh, has just swaths of people that hate it. But like, it's their job to hate it, you know? Like, oh shit, honey, honey, I'm sorry, it's 5 p.m. I know I said I was gonna watch the kids today, it's 5 p.m. If I'm not on the internet, like, hating on this game, I'm gonna be the laughingstock of my Discord group. Is there one game where it's, it's like, immune to that? Is there? I don't think there is. Maybe The Witcher 3, four years ago. <laughs> but, not recently. Now people are starting to say The Witcher 3 is overrated. Instead of let underrated Jim. Ooh. Somehow Red Dead 2, it should be! That should be the game! Red Dead 2. Perfection. Oh my god. Yo, if one of you guys could tell me if this is just me, uh, I'd really appreciate it. I can't even charge the plasma pistol normally. It'll release it without me releasing it because my controller is detecting that I'm releasing the trigger when I'm not. I don't know if that's the game. I don't know if it's my piece of shit. Elite controller, these things suck. Quality control, I mean. Uh, it works great until it stops working. Which, it stops working for a lot of people. Apparently, even the Elite 2 has a lot of problems with it. I don't recommend these. I wouldn't buy them. And, you know, if you do buy it, I recommend those stupid... You know on Amazon or Walmart or Best Buy, like you're buying a DVD of Terminator 2 Judgment Day, and they're like, Hey, sir, would you like a warranty with this? Our two-year extended warranty covers all cracks, damages, drop damage, flood damage, hurricane. Take it. If they offer it to you, take it. Pay the extra and get it. Because these things will fail you. If you have a pro controller, you need to get rid of the trigger. <laughs> what am I going to do without my trigger? You know, I think I'd rather ha have the bumper as the fire button. Why do I need a... Do they have the trigger as the fire button to make it feel like a gun? Because this is more responsive. It's faster. If you're tapping, I'd rather have that. 
I mean, that's why they have, uh, they have this little switch, and that makes the travel distance shorter. And that switch is so you can double tap more, more easily. Sadly, they didn't implement the feature that allows the triggers to work. They, they forgot that one. Also, this light... <laughs> this light... This is the worst part. This thing's a goddamn flashlight. I've literally, uh, instead of... Instead of getting my phone's flashlight out... <laughs> I've, uh, actually, just the other night, I couldn't find my phone. So... I just turn this outward, and I and I scan the room with this, instead of turning on the lights. If I'm playing in a dark room, I don't want this fucking thing blinding me. It's so annoying. Why do they have this? This is shit. This thing gets brighter than MacBooks can. MacBook screams are dim as hell compared to this. I don't get it. It's really annoying. If you're having trouble getting into matches, uh, restart your Xbox. Don't just restart the game. You got to restart the Xbox. Oh, another thing is I've bar I've barely used this. I I uh, I actually didn't buy it. Ubisoft sent it to me. Thank you, Ubisoft, for sending me this terrible controller. <laughs> um. I've barely used it, and it's, it's already breaking on me. Can you turn the light down in the settings on, on Windows? I actually don't play on my Xbox all that much. I play on... I normally use my Xbox controller with Windows. It's, it's a comfortable... The, look, the silhouette of this, the, the weight of it, it's perfect. It's, it's really, really... Uh, comfortable premium sits in the hand for I got pretty big hands so I like a big controller I like the Duke I'm one of those weirdos I actually reviewed the they re-released the Duke and I reviewed it unfortunately it's not wireless so I don't use it I heard if you teabag a bot they would teabag you back when they kill you all right yeah, I'll try that, Jacob. <laughs> I'm pretty sure... Don't quote me on this. Is that the commando? Fuck yeah. Alright, don't quote me on this, but I'm almost positive in the last Halo uh, live stream, one of the developers... Double kill! Triple kill! Uh, let's teabag all these bastards before their bodies disappear. Oh, fuck! Anyway, well, one of the developers said, uh, you know, uh, hanging dong. And I think he was talking about, or maybe it was like dancing dong or dong dangling. I think he was talking about teabagging. But instead of, you know, the testicular reference, he skipped, he skipped over that to the, you know, <laughs> Mr. Roundtree. Which is, I've never heard of teabagging set as, um, dong dancing, or dong dangling. Dong, maybe it was dong dipping. I think it was dong dipping. <laughs> Fuck! I was trying to get a melee in, but... Ooh, no! Get over here. Teabag me, you... <laughs> Teabag me, you dirty birdie. I don't think they're gonna do it. I think that's a myth. Let's see what guns we got on the map this time around. Ah, pulse carbine. I like the non-pulse carbine, but I don't really care for this. And heat wave. Don't mind if I do. This gun's kind of crazy. It's got an alt fire. You can change the orientation if you're attacking multiple or singular targets. And additionally, it bounces off of, uh, off of walls. It's also got... It's got some travel time. The projectile speed is pretty low. So you're gonna need to aim where the guy's Another gonna be. Because if you're aiming Got where you he is, build. you're probably aiming where he used to be. Let's see if I can get that commando back. One shot. What's your opinion on the feeling of holding a dual sense? Oh man. 
Uh, I thought I was gonna find it uncomfortable because I don't really like the PlayStation 4 controller. But the Dual Sense. Another thing that I didn't think I was gonna like about the Dual Sense is that the the sticks are uh, asymmetric, as opposed to the Xbox. I mean, they're, they're symmetrical as opposed to the Xbox. I always thought that this was superior, you know, the offset sticks. But I gotta say, I don't know where I thought that. I think it's because back in the day, back in the day, the Xbox 360 was the king of multiplayer games. So that's what I played on. I played on the Xbox. But you, ah! I got it. Hey, I was parked there first, buddy boy. Shit. No! That's what I get. Karma. Damn it. I'm going back for that sniper rifle. Anyway, I prefer the DualSense. I think the DualSense is a great controller. It's fantastic. I'm really, really hoping that Xbox uh, gives us something that's kind of uh, their answer to the DualSense. Okay. There we go. I'm pretty sure if you take damage, you'll be knocked out of this scope, too. So keep that in mind. I am a terrible sniper, so I really shouldn't have stolen this thing off of my teammate. Hey! I hit him! <laughs> I've always loved the look of this sniper rifle, but... The only time I could ever do anything with it was back, uh, Halo Combat Evolved on PC. Oh yeah, okay. Confirmed, you do get knocked out of the scope. Of the sniper rifle, even. <laughs> Shit. Alright. Well, that's the sniper rifle. Wonder how much 343 changed this game since Cold War launched. Like an answer to Cold War? I don't know. But I gotta say, I'm thinking that this, I think it's time for Halo again. I wanna grab one of those shield abilities. I love those things. Guess they're above us. Interesting. So they show up as a diamond no matter what. There's no way to tell in the mini map if they're above or below you, which I don't know how I feel about that. Anyway, like I was saying, I think it's time for Halo again because it's really satisfying. And <coughs> a nice change of pace to be playing a game that doesn't play like Call of Duty and Battlefield. Battlefield and Call of Duty, there's a decent amount of overlap there. They're certainly different enough, obviously, but they're not, there's not the difference between arena sh- <laughs> Just notice that Looney Tunes ass death. Um, it's not as big of a difference as, uh, Jesus Christ, I'm getting rocked. Arena shooters, Call of Duty, big difference. Arena shooters, Battlefield, big difference. We don't really have any arena shooters that I can think of off the top of my head that are really popular. Um, Strife. Am I thinking of, what is Strife? I don't remember. Tribes Ascend was kind of arena-like, but that's been dead for a while. Rest in peace. Unreal Tournament, Epic killed that, unfortunately. I was I was enjoying where they were going with it. But they're just so fundamentally different. This being free to play, really high quality shooter, I think it's got a really good chance. It's not on PlayStation, which hurts it, because I think so far there's been six million ballpark numbers. Six million Xbox Series X and S combined shipped to retailers. And PlayStation, I believe there's been 10 million PlayStation 5s sold to consumers. So, you can find a Series S fairly easily. Series X is still hard to find. But Series S, you can find that okay. Um, my point being, there's possibly almost double the amount of people that own a PlayStation 5 as opposed to the Series X and S. But, Halo Infinite's also going to be free to play on computers. PC. That's big. 
That's very big. I think this game's got a chance. And another thing, you know, it doesn't have uh it doesn't have a battle royale. It's got big theme battle which we don't know much about. They haven't showed uh shown any footage of it. I don't think it's coming at launch. I think it's coming post launch. Nevertheless, I think that uh battle royales now that we have uh Warzone, which is pretty great, I think battle royales are starting to kind of, you know, the fire's dying down a little bit. It's not a craze like it was. Maybe arena shooting could be a little crazy. Sling. I'm not talking anything crazy, but you know, may maybe it could become a thing again. That'd be nice. Big team battle, you know? <laughs> Big team battle with arena gameplay. That's tight. I love finding. I'm sounding like a broken record here, but. I'm really loving everybody. No, no, go! Damn it! I'm loving everybody starting on the same equal ground. You find your guns in the map. I'm such a big fan of that. And I love... Uh, aiming down sights doesn't make you more accurate. That's novel. At this point, that's really novel. Gain the lead. And you know, it's not like it takes any more or less skill, it's different, you know, it's it's uh, a little more quick based your priorities are in different areas. It's cool, it's good stuff. Looks like that area is always going to be the plasma pistol in this test. And that's almost always the carbine. I'm going to grab that commando again. Let's focus on bot hunting. Somehow they've killed three of our own and I will not stand for that. For these bastards. There we go. We still need to get some melee kills, but I just have not. <laughs> ah, there we go. Fuck. That's right. It's got to be from the back uh, to get a one hit kill. I think the challenges are, are not currently working in, uh, in, the, in the flight. <sighs> Which is too bad. If Halo is considered arena. Man, arena FPS is so dead. As a genre, we can't gatekeep Halo from it. Maybe technically, it's not Quake. I mean, shit. You could you could maybe argue that even Unreal isn't as arena FPS as Quake oh, is. But she's dead, Jim. Halo's our best shot. Overshield available. Wait, Needler? Oh, yeah. Where, 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 where'd I go? I think my teammate already picked it up. Where's the Needler spawning? Where the hell are the enemies? What's this? Ah. Uh, I'm convinced that I'm uh, I'm going in a circle, and so are they. We're just strafing each other. That seven sniper inbound. Damn. Halfway to victory. All right, they're probably gonna spawn over here. That seven sniper available. There we go. Where is it? Where is it? Yes! Oh! I really need a kill from the, uh, from the back. Are there less spots? <laughs> I swear to God, I can't find any of these guys. Yeah, we got some shields. 
<laughs> I don't really have any use for this shield <laughs> because I can't uh, I can't find these guys fast enough. There we go. But these shields are great. I love these things. Holy shit! I mean, it makes sense, but it's still really cool that the grenades uh, burst multiple panels if they detonate near the shield. But if you guys remember the bubble shield on Halo 3, this is like the natural evolution of that. And I think it's so cool. The bubble shield uh, is kind of dumb. Literally, not. I, I, I like the shield. But this is uh, this is kind of smart. It's modular. Certain sections gonna be knocked out, so you're gonna have to, you know, keep that at the back of your head while you're using this shield. For its defensive capabilities, going to be to uh, moving around to the panels that are still intact. Gunplay is really nice. Man, I kind of wish that I uh, got the, the PC flight. I wanted to see what it's like on the Series X, but I wonder what this controls like with uh, with the mouse and keyboard. I mean, I can plug it in. I forgot. Uh, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, the n current generation, I suppose, they support mouse and keyboard natively. So I could plug in a mouse and keyboard and see what it's like. I wouldn't have my software for my mouse, but I'm really curious about that. Let's see if we've got anything we can buy. I think I've bought everything. You know what? Let's swap out our weapon skins. Oh, shit. Better be quick. There we go. Sweet. I can't even play. Oh, I got it. Blue, I had the same problem. If it says you can't play with dedicated servers or if it gives you some sort of an error when you're trying to get into a match, restart your Xbox. Don't just restart the game. You got to restart the Xbox. I don't know why. Uh, we should probably <laughs> we should probably send in that to 343. I'm sure someone already has, but we should do it anyway. Never assume whatever error you have is exclusive to you. The reason that they're doing this flight, they're letting people stream it. But this is not a beta. This is not a demo. You remember how, if you're a boomer, <laughs> like me, um, back in the 50s and 60s, games had demos. And there were like, like hour slices of the game that you could play anytime you wanted. You could download the demo a year, two years after the game came out. Well, they've stopped doing that. Publishers don't do that anymore. They have betas. Well, they have demos that are called betas. But they're demos. And they're basically the final build of the game. This is not a demo beta, and this is not a beta beta. This is a technical test. Even though inside, you'll see the UI calls it a beta, it's not a beta. The developers themselves have referred to this as a technical test, and that is what this is. Um, this is meant for bug smashing. This, oh my god, there's a million of them. Oh shit, fuck. This is meant for bug smashing and, and stress testing servers and stuff like that. This is not a, a, a glorified advertisement for the game. There's something else, I gotta say, uh, the developers really jet, like, 343, I haven't followed any of their, uh, like, developer videos for, like, Halo 5 or the Master Chief Collection, so maybe I'm kind of late to the party here, but kill from the grave. They genuinely seem like they know what they're doing. They seem really passionate, really proactive. Seems like a good work environment, as opposed to activism. Um, I like Call of Duty, and they've got a bunch of talented developers. I just believe that the developers deserve better. Uh, regardless, 343 seems great. 
I'm really surprised because I didn't like Halo 4 or uh, Halo 5. I like Halo 5 better. How many fucking shots is it gonna take me? <laughs> Let's see if we can find some different guns. What's this guy have? Spike grenade. This pistol. Wow, you nailed End of this it. weekend, they're supposed to be rolling out the uh, second tier of um, well, there's four tiers of bot difficulties. I believe we're on recruit, which is the easiest. They said that they're planning by the end of the weekend on implementing uh, Spartan difficulty, which is the highest bot difficulty. I'm interested in seeing that. It seems like they're spawning at this uh, side of the map. For the most part. So I'm gonna hang around here. See, I don't get that. They're just scared of, think of what we'll think of the final product. Now that the dev It's possible for the developers to care. Nobody wants to make a bad game. Like, uh, the cyberpunk developers. They didn't want to make a bad game. I should have used the shield there. The cyberpunk devs, um, they were mortified at having to ship cyberpunk in the state that it was. They were positive that they were going to get the game delayed like another year. Because that's what they needed. They were shocked when upper management was like, no, no, you're shipping it now. Man, I feel bad for those guys. Game development is, uh, it's not easy. It's, it's, it's a hard thing. I've met a lot of developers, spoke to a lot of developers. Whatever faults EA games have had over the years, it, at least it's a good place to work. Everybody I've talked to, uh, that worked at, that worked at EA or works at EA, uh, has always been really positive. It seems like a really good work environment. And I, it, it seems like uh, Halo Infinite or 343. It's a good environment there. From, I haven't met anybody from 343, but from what I can tell, it seems pretty good. Anyway, uh, the developers really seem... Uh, they really seem to get... Oh, shit! They really seem to get what Halo should be. Finally. Which I'm really happy about because I've been out of Halo for since Halo Reach. What's what's your favorite Halo? It can be for any... You know what? Not campaigns. Excluding campaigns. Completely excluding them. Really think about this. What's your favorite Halo? Multiplayer? Really tough for me to say. Actually, no, it isn't. For me, it's Halo 3. Oh, man. Launched through the 360. I was playing... I was uh, sleeping over at a friend's house. And he had, uh, he had Halo 3. I was still on Halo 2. I didn't have a, I didn't have a 360 at the time. Uh, I bought, I went out and bought a 360. <laughs> Halo 3. There was no way I wasn't going to keep playing that. Uh, at the sleepover, I just, it was me and him taking turns. Uh, literally, I think it was like 10 hours straight. We woke up, turned on the Xbox, didn't stop for like 10 hours straight. Just like eating real quick, back to the Xbox. Halo, Halo 3. All day. Loved it. I also really liked Halo Combat Evolved. Longest time, I had uh, the Blood Gulch PC multiplayer trial, and I just played Blood Gulch all day for like a year, and then I finally bought it. Halo 5 multiplayer is phenomenal in my opinion. It's a lot better than Halo 4. That's for sure. I don't know why I never got into Halo 5 multiplayer, but I definitely liked it better than uh, Halo 4. Hey, new armor piece. Let's apply it. Let's also change our armor color. I'm really liking this, though. Loving this. Alright, so armor coatings. These are all the defaults. 
these are the two that I've bought. These are in the battle pass. Oh, I like this one. It's really gaudy, but it's cool. Okay, um... Let's go for, uh... It's kind of like a Combat Evolved Green. I don't know which one's more Combat Evolved. I think this is kind of... This is kind of like the very first advertisements of Chief. He had a really saturated visor, really saturated uh, John Deere green. Oh man, that's awesome. What is this? I guess that's the battle pass. Well, I don't know. See, these, it tells you where it is in the battle pass, but this one doesn't say anything. So, I don't know. It says released season one. Maybe it's, uh... I have no idea. You know what? Hold on. I'm gonna check something out. Ah, damn it, we don't have any chest pieces. So, there's quite a bit of customization. For instance, this helmet has attachments. There it is. Wait. Okay, that's without the attachment. That's with the attachment. Um, other pieces of armor have attachments as well. But... I can't... I can't look into that. I don't know if it's because I don't own the attachments and you can't see what the attachments look like until you purchase them. But... Hmm. That's too bad. Additionally... They don't have all the customization implemented in the game. Like, they don't have armor kits. I, this is just a technical test, as <laughs> I've said many times. I'm a little sensitive, alright, about developers, you know, um, not, not getting their message out. The prosthesis is pretty cool. And it's actually pretty, uh, pretty in-depth. Let's change out our little dude here. These AIs are like your in-game announcers. Somebody has a special ability or something, that's what's gonna alert you. Alright. Oh, wait, 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 uh, that's slightly different than your, you got your announcer and then you've got, they replaced like your, your team leader or whatever, has been replaced by the AI. But, you also have the announcer, which you can change in a future flight or maybe a launch. It's not implemented yet. Let's see. Who? Let's. What else did you guys say? I asked what your favorite Halos were. A lot of reach. Halo Three. Oh yeah, this is in regards to multiplayer only. So favorite Halo multiplayer's bunch of Halo Threes. Couple Halo 5, Halo 2, 2, 2, 2, 1 Halo 1. Any other Combat Evolved? One other Combat Evolved. Not too many. What FPS are you getting? Solid 60. The 120 Hertz is not currently working for me. I have an LG C10 and I'm using an HDMI 2.1 cable connected directly into the, uh, from the Series X into the C10, but, and I've got free sync off, but instant game response on for VRR, everything like that. I can't get the 120 hertz working with this flight. However, it's supposed to be able to support 4K 120 hertz. Additionally, there's a graphics quality option, which I can't seem to find a difference in performance between these two, so I just stick with quality. Who would disable speed lines? What heartless bastard? Let's try, uh, boosting this to 120 FPS. Also, the screen calibration is... <laughs> That's not working. Doesn't work with HDR or SDR. I think I need to restart the Xbox. Ugh. ODST was great.
ODST only had uh, wave multiplayer, right? It didn't have uh, it didn't have normal multiplayer. I'm pretty sure. Two seconds. Grabbing some more. Coming from all sides. Oh. Oh, God. Alright, uh, any of you playing the flight, would you tell me if, uh, your triggers are working normally? I'd appreciate it. When I'm holding down my trigger for full, full automatic, it's not working. Oh my god, this gun's amazing. I love this thing. This is the Commando. It's a new gun in Halo Infinite, and it's fucking great. It replaces the DMR. Or maybe the DMR is still in the game. I don't know. But it, it's a DMR. And it's so satisfying. It's like the rifle version of this uh, pistol. This pistol's great. It's, um, it's called the Sidekick. It's a fundamentally different pistol. They're not trying to make the Combat Evolve pistol doing something different it's great i'm all here for it and i'm the biggest fan of the combat evolve pistol out there damn i still maintain that they should make the combat evolve pistol uh a pickup it's too powerful to be a default sidearm but maybe as a pickup What's, what's over here? What is this? Active Heat wave. Available. It's a cool gun, but I can't get the hell of this thing. Hard to find some of the enemies sometimes. Yeah, I love the time to kill. I love it. I don't know how I haven't brought that up. Thank you, Andrew. Time to kill is great. The, here's the thing. This is incredibly satisfying. Everything is satisfying so far. The movement, um, that's another thing. I think maybe another uh, qualm I had with Halo 5 was the movement. Just didn't feel quite right. But this, like some of the older Halos can feel kind of slow movement-wise. No, which is good in its own way. But this, it feels right. This doesn't feel dated, but it doesn't feel like something that's not Halo at the same time. That guy picked up the spike. It kind of looks like the brute rocket launcher or a grenade launcher, but it's uh, it's a new weapon. Apparently, it's great against vehicles. This thing's crazy in close quarters, uh, in interiors, because the uh, projectiles bounce. It's really fun. Kind of hard to find the bots sometimes. <laughs> These poor guys. <laughs> Getting hunted like dogs. Damn. Can't find shit. Active camo. Inbound. Oh, there we go. No! Oh, you kidding me? Victory. 
I haven't gotten a whole lot of time with the skewer yet. People always grab that as soon as it pops. But it, it looks really fun. I'd love to get my hands on it. God, I love this pistol so much. I'm a big, big fan of pistols in games. Um, Uncharted 2. I actually never really played the multiplayer outside of the beta. I don't think I wanted a Runa for me, just in case they balance it. But um, the beta for Uncharted 2 multiplayer, I loved the pistol. Holy shit, it was so good and so satisfying. One of the best third person pistols I've ever used. <laughs> okay, they gotta change that. Or maybe they don't, but hear me out. Um, there's certain sounds that are happening when the announcer says, I think he said spectacular, but instead of spectacular, it kind of just sounded like ejaculate. Sorry, that was Lou. I'm playing a game with little colorful robot men. <laughs> It's what it sounded like to me. I know they're not colorful little robot men. They're actually they're Spartans, and they're super soldiers. What else we got? I swear I don't see this shoulder pad. We unlocked an epic right. Oh, right shoulder pad. I think I checked both shoulders though. Oh no, there it is. All right, cool. Um, what about left? Oh, we got it for... Oh, we have a different one on the left. Yeah, we don't... No, we do. No, we don't. Okay, um, the lock changes color, and it's kind of hard to see when it's black. Never mind. That's locked out. We don't have it. That would be cool to have. Okay, uh, let's try an academy real quick. I'm gonna try the commando. Let's go with the third uh, challenge. See how that works out. Streetacular, maybe that. Well, I don't know if that's any better. EK78 commando obtained. Take down your target like quickly. Shit, I shouldn't have reloaded there. Oh, you know what? They're not shooting at us. We can use the scope. You pr fuck, I'm doing bad. Seconds remaining. No! You probably shouldn't be using the scope in practice, though, because you're not often going to be using the scope without being fired upon. And that's probably gonna make some of your training at least moot, unless you're just trying to train your scope specifically, your scope skills. Now, once uh, the game launches or we're in a further firefight, sorry, flight, damn. Anyway, once we're in a further flight, uh, there's going to be, actually, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to expand upon the academy in the future flights. I'm assuming they will. But the idea is once academy is out, once the game's out, you're going to have all these different modifiers, kind of like in a fighting game where you can dictate what the CPU does uh, how they behave, level of aggression, stuff like that. So you can put yourself in very specific scenarios where you want to train certain muscles. And that is awesome. It sounds like it's going to be kind of like the best case scenario of, uh, like the Battlefield 5, um, training ground is all right, but this sounds like it's going to be the best FPS training ground in a game yet. Which is cool. What is that noise? Am I getting notifications in the game? I'm hearing noises, but I'm not seeing any pop-ups. <laughs> Does Halo Infinite Insider work with Quick Resume? It loads so fast. 
I don't see where you would use quick resume outside of, uh... Outside of, um... Uh, campaign. Sorry, I was just checking the notification. Another pistol that I greatly enjoyed was Battlefield Bad Company 2, 1911. Oh my god! What a nasty, nasty grenade throw! <laughs> Look at them all grouping up. Oh, that would be juicy for the heat wave. You know, I'm not great. Maybe this is going to change. I used to love the BR. And it's great, but... If I am going to choose between the BR and the Commando, I'm going to choose the Commando every time. <laughs> Holy shit, someone's on mics. Oh my god, it's like I'm in Halo 3. Cream corn? Shit. Where is he? Where's he at? Where's he at? Shit. Hey, congrats, guys. We just gained the lead against bots. Go ahead. Give yourselves a pat on the back for a job well done. I'm going to try to watch for the special weapon spawn. <laughs> Snapshot. I would like one more bot on the enemy team. Whoa! Game froze. I don't know if it's... I don't know if it's a goner yet. Let's just wait it out. Weird. All of a sudden, it looks like I'm just looking at a... I'm looking at a screenshot in the Microsoft Store pretending that I'm able to play Halo Infinite. I'm just pretending I got invited to the flight. No, that froze. What was... I should probably... If I was a really good little boy, if I was a good boy, I would save the last 30 seconds to figure out what I was doing. Damn it, I should have done that. Next, tell you what, next time... I always feel bad about that. Next time, I'm actually going to go through all the steps. What I should have done is I should have recorded what happened and sent in uh, whatever it is that may have caused the match to crash. It may not have been my actions. I don't know if the whole match froze, if it was just me, but I, there's more I could have done. I don't know if it does replace the DMR, but I think the Commando replaces the DMR. <laughs> yeah, the 360 mics were really, really bad. They were awful. I had the, uh, the, the stupid one that goes over one ear, and you get it for free when you buy a year of Xbox Live Gold. Those are trash. The, the crazy thing is... I know there's, you know, uh, opinions. There's, uh, different schools of thought. But this game has incredible gameplay. It's top of the line. The, the polish is outstanding. The polish is fan. I'm not a Halo fan, boy. I haven't been playing Halo regularly since Halo 3. I didn't really play Halo 4 or Halo 5. I tried them, but I didn't stick with them. Anyway, uh, 
I'm not a fanboy of anything except for Tetris 99. Okay, you come onto this channel, I'm not gonna uh, be a fanboy of a certain console or a certain, like, I like Battlefield, I hate Call of Duty. I like Call of Duty, I hate Battlefield. Ah, I like games. Whatever game I happen to like, it's what I like. <laughs> um, this game is really polished, though. Like, I can understand it not being somebody's cup of tea, but I don't understand how, like, people can look at the gameplay and not be like, uh, yeah, it's not for me, but, the, you know, it's, it's polished. Movement's tight. Gunplay looks tight. Fortnite. I don't care for Fortnite's gameplay. I've tried it. I, I'm not crazy about the gunplay. I don't know if I can say that the gunplay seems like it's good. <laughs> to me. I don't see it. I can't see it. But, the building mechanics, that's really, that's different. That's really different. Outside of Minecraft, which isn't a shooter, I, I can't think of any game that has that sort of fast-paced building mechanic um, that can be used offensively or defensively. Uh, it's genius. It's cool. I hate it, but it's cool. It's good. Anyway, I never understood console wars. My mama always said I was special. I'm a good person. <laughs> I hold the door open for people. I don't say my plastic box is better than your plastic box, so why aren't women throwing themselves at me? I don't get it. <laughs> the camera movements are really slick. If it continues to move, kill it harder. Hey, my AI's finally talking to me. Did you see that? Cool. Uh, my AI is called Teardrop, and she was just telling me to, you know. If killing it once doesn't work, kill it again. Fortnite's gunplay for me kind of feels like uh, there's this third person shooter game franchise that's been dead for years now. It's called Army of Two. Uh, I always liked Army of Two as a co op game, but. For me, the gunplay always felt like rubber bullets traveling underwater. And Fortnite kind of feels like, um, Roman candles. Not traveling underwater, but maybe Roman candles going in the face of a medium wind. Also, the, the spread is crazy in Fortnite. But the thing is, is that bad? No. It's just not for me. It does kind of fly in the face of most shooters, though. Um, a, Fortnite was never meant to be a, a, a competitive shooter. Does that mean it shouldn't be? No! No, it doesn't. But... It got really popular, and they can't necessarily change it too much at this point, so maybe that explains why it feels weird to me. Man, no spamming. Come on. Another one down. <laughs> oh, 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 damn it. I meant to melee him to death. Shit. Oh! <laughs> We've got a regular John Marston over here. He touches water, dies. Grab your drop wall. Where do the noodlers spawn? We've lost a team. It's it's, it's it's it varies, so it's not necessarily going to be the same place every match. But I can't remember where it spawns. I don't think it's fun. No, that's. Okay. Wait, whoa! Where did you come from? 
All right, so forewarning, my triggers are failing me. Sniper inbound, low on ammo. The elite controller is a piece of shit. I don't recommend it. It's great until it breaks, and mine's breaking. So I can't do fully automatic. I gotta, I gotta double tap the needler. It's so stupid. I've never had to double tap the needler in my life, but holding down the trigger no longer works. Adapt, improvise, overcome. Shit. Oh shit, I just realized these are brute armors. That's cool. That's a fun detail. Uh, how many kills? Oh great, the match is still young. Let's see if we can turn this thing around. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm terrible with the sniper rifle. The only time I was ever good with this thing was... Uh, Halo Combat Evolved on PC. To enemy family. I don't know what that says about me. VK-78 Commando obtained. Were you only good with the Halo Sniper Rifle and Halo Combat Evolved on PC in the early 2000s? Check this article to see what that says about you. Shit. Alright, it's time to pick up the shambles of this match and turn it around. These bots have far too big a stake in this thing already. Touch boys. Doing good earlier. Doing great. <laughs> Keep the faith, Arthur. It has been some time since I have played Halo. I'm getting my feet wet. Not to mention, I am hungry. And warm. We need to get me fed and cooled off for my performance Reloading. to be accurately measured. Commando rifle acquired. There we go. That's a little better. Hey, look, I stole someone's kills. Ha! <laughs> Congratulations, me. All right. Let's grab the overshield. I saw an, uh, a bot using the overshield earlier, which is kind of cool. He fucking bounced the grenade at me! Bastard! You can't cook grenades. Um, at least not the frag grenades. I don't know if there's... If you can, I don't think you can cook spike grenades. Why could you cook those if you can't cook the frag? Our items have spawned. I like that bot name, that's fun. 343, it just seems like developers that are having fun. Oh shit, I think he's he's got the overshield active. God, this gun is so fun! Love it! Time to kill, great. Gunplay, great. Movement, great. I'm loving this. I'm loving it. I love it. I don't know if this is going to be like it in the normal game at launch, but there's no play of the game. There's no final kill cam. Why waste my time with that? Thank you for not wasting my time, Halo Infinite. Except for yesterday, when I was waiting for you since 2 p.m. And I could only start playing around midnight. <laughs> hey, I beat my usual damn... Wait, what? How's the scoreboard? Hey, look at that. We actually were... First place. Sort of. At the highest accuracy, which is a shock. Only one power weapon kill. What did I... What, what uh, power weapon did I kill with? I don't remember.
Does it play better than Call of Duty? That's... I, I don't know if I can answer that. It's really different from Call of Duty. Huh. My brother still to this day brings up the time when I destroyed him and his friends 1v4 in Halo 2. His friends said they were good. Oh man, that brings me back. Halo 3. Uh, my entire team abandoned me. I think it was, I think it was just Team Deathmatch. My entire team left. It was only me versus, I think it was, whatever the standard is. I don't know if it's 5v5. So, anyway, um, whatever the standard was, so it was like me versus five guys. <laughs> people. Me versus five people. And... Slayer. Slayer. It was rocky hey, at the start. It was real rocky, but I actually turned it around and I ended up winning. And they weren't they weren't throwing the match. I don't know what you're thinking. They weren't throwing the match. They didn't trick me. Oh my god, is that the almost looked like the recon helmet. Like. Anyway. That was a fun gaming memory. Shit. First time I've uh muted someone in Halo Infinite. How do I do that. Yeah. Still, still looking scary here. Enemies on me. Alright. Normally I'd be delighted. But I can't hear myself think if I'm not talking to them. Alright, let's go get that BR. I mean, uh, uh DMR. Ah! Wasn't there anyway. Grab the drop wall. Enemies on oh! Me. I tell you what. Five guys? Five guys alright. But my- YES! Ah! Look at that! He avenged his bot teammate. Uh, my favorite burger place is... Uh, Freddy's. I don't know if you guys have heard of Freddy's. But they make steak burgers ever since Steak and Shake was bought out, and they're terrible now. I've wanted good steak burgers. I love steak burgers. Best burger is a steak burger because they're so, the patties are so thin, there's nowhere for the flavor to hide. Perfect amount of grease. They're delicious. Fucking delicious. And Freddy's makes a damn good steak burger. They got these fantastic shoestring fries. And here's the thing about fat fridge fries. Bread. It's bread. Give me uh, shoestring fries. Or at least a good balance, you know. Again, nowhere for the flavor to hide. But these steak burgers, they mash them down so flat, so crispy. On the edges of the burger, you've got this, like, chip. It's like a chip. It's delicious. Love it. You know, it'd be really fun if you could uh, have an alt fire with a shotgun and, and it fires slugs. You guys are so lucky I'm not a game developer. Everyone would hate that. <laughs> Why does every gun in Halo Infinite have an alt fire? Someone said scab in the chat room. <laughs> <laughs> Flipped me out for a second. I was like, what? There's a there's someone that's um gaslighting union workers? <laughs> the scabs were people that would um like if, if union workers were picketing, they would go in there and they would pretend that they were a union worker. And they would cause some trouble and they would, you know, stir up some shit to make the union uh look bad. But it turns out they were working for the Union Busters the whole time! Oh, shit. Yeah, switch to the shotgun for long range. Great idea. Wait, uh, shield regen is faster on crouch? Oh. 
That was fun. Off the rack. Nice. Alright, uh, let's see if we can grab that active camo. I think this guy's already gonna get it though. I don't know. Ah, we got it. Have you guys noticed that Discord guy voice? I hate it. I hate ASMR. ASMR is... It... It triggers me. I hate it. I can't stand it. Every time I hear it. It's just... It's it's like nails on a chalkboard. Anyway, that Discord guy voice. Oh my god. I hate it. It's, it's, it's a trend right now. Uh, yeah, these guys that talk like this. Uh, they're trying to sound like Samara from the, the, the Grudge. Wait, is Samara from the Grudge or the Ring? Anyway, vocal fry! Valley boy! Doesn't sound sexy. Don't do it! Don't be vocal frying around like a fool! Man, this gun plays so tight. Yeah, Freddy's Steak Burgers. Love me some Freddy's Steak Burgers. Double kill. Killing friend. Killionaire. Blue team takes the lead. Are we always blue team? Uh, are the bots always red team? I'm trying to remember. How many kills we got left? Four, oh, okay. 47. Alright, getting close. Oh, one more, one more! Come on, boys! Oh, damn it. That's a shame. That's a shame. Yeah, whispering in my ear. Hate it. Hate it. <laughs> There's an ASMR Super Bowl commercial, and it made the vibe at the party feel so awkward. Yeah, half of them, uh... Uh, ASMR is a fetish. Don't let anybody tell you any differently. No, it just like, you know, it stimulates certain parts of my brain and it like relaxes me, man. It's, it's a sick fetish. It's what it is. So, half, yeah, it's, you know, half the people at the party are getting uncomfortable. Half the people are uncomfortable at the people getting uncomfortable. It's a terrible combination. How do we do? 47%. Oh, wait, no, that's not us. 55% accuracy. Somehow, we're the most accurate. Unbelievable. Wait, does it show bot accuracy? Shit, I already left. All right, let's check out the battle pass. So, they don't have... You can buy the battle pass. They give you credits to do it, but... We have no sense of the economy of Halo Infinite. Uh, they're gonna change... Your earn rate. They're gonna change the price of these things. Uh... There's no way to tell. I'm going to assume the battle pass is going to be $10. That's what they usually are. But we don't know. Hey, look at that. You can pay to advance your level. Yeah, it doesn't tell you how many... We don't know the exchange rate is what I'm trying to say. But every single tier of the battle pass has a free item. So you don't have like gaps of paid, 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 free, paid, 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 free, you know. Everybody gets some. Seems pretty fair. The only thing that I'm kind of weirded out by is this. So you got this uh, item which allows you to swap challenges out that you don't want to do. And then you got this item, which boosts your XP. You can buy these with credits. And I don't know how much, I don't know if they're going to be cheap. I don't know the credit earn rate. Uh, these prices aren't final. Um, I don't know if they're going to have multiple credits, in-game only, premium only. But it says buy credits. So I'm assuming you can buy credits with real money. Can you buy challenge swaps with real money? That doesn't seem like somebody you should be able to buy with real money. What about the XP boost? Can you buy XP boost with real money? I don't know about that. 
Uh, I don't know about it. This is where you customize your weapon. You know what? I'm not crazy about the bipod on this new sniper. I'm actually not crazy about this new sniper rifle. This is the only weapon that I'm not crazy about the new design. It's too nerf gun. That's cool. That's cool. I like this thing a lot. The design of it, it's, uh, it satisfies me. Well, regardless, I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me and keeping the faith. If you enjoyed yourselves, leave a like or subscribe. Join our posse, our gang. Uh, I'm going to be streaming this game again tomorrow, and we're going to be grinding out the battle pass. Uh, we're going to try to work on the armor customization. I'm, I'm going to try to grind out this whole battle pass. I want to work on challenges. It'll be fun. Regardless, I hope you guys join me again tomorrow, and I hope you had as much fun as I did. If you guys weren't invited to the, to the flight, subscribe to Halo Infinite. Well, not subscribe to Halo. Join Halo Infinite's uh, insider program. It's on Halo Waypoint. That'll get you into the next flight. Regardless, pull your weight around this camp. Arthur Morgan has been donating enough. Leave a like in the camp box behind my tent. Or if you're not a part of the gang, it would be my pleasure to ride with you outlaws for life. Again, I thank each and every one of you for keeping the faith. Until next time, until tomorrow, game massively, and I will see you again soon, my friends. I want an FPS game, but have the most battle points. Yeah, uh, the battle, oh, the battle pass. BP Battle Pass. The Battle Pass is uh, going to be a catalog, so you can go back and do any Battle Pass that you want. There's no FOMO, you know. That's the way Battle Passes should be. It's just like, oh, here's the new one. You can get it anytime you want, or you can get one of the old ones. Whatever you want. I tell you what, it, here's a way that they could do dual wielding. How about this? How about, oh, that's so cool, you can equip, if you buy a skin set, you can equip your skin set uh, from here instead of going into the armory to do it. Anyway, how about this? How about having dual wheel be a pickup? Like, uh, there's a dual wheeled SMG pickup and you pick it up like any normal gun. Instead of being able to dual wield independently, because the developers don't want to do that. Just an idea. Regardless, I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Until tomorrow, have a good uh, morning afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world Truman Show reference alright I'll see you guys again later keep the faith and have a good time wherever